For more than 20 years, Tom Douglas has been on the cutting edge of cuisine in Seattle and is credited with defining the Northwest style. He owns five restaurants. He's written three books. He has his own line of specialty foods and a weekly radio show. How do you have enough time to cook? <laughs> Just like you, sir. We're so lucky Everything. to have you with yeah. us right now. And if that's not enough, he is our chef on a shoestring today. He's making an untraditional Labor Day party menu. So we've doubled our budget to $80 to feed eight people. Good morning. Really. Good morning. We are fortunate to have you here. Thank you very really, much. Really good to see you. Come all the way. You know, I country. actually drove here, which is the first time ever uh, for me because I was dropping my daughter at Colgate. Hi, Loretta. I hope right. you're having Hamilton, a good New first York. couple Beautiful days. Hamilton, Hamilton, New York. York. All right, yeah. let's talk about what's on the menu. What do you have for us? All right. So today we've got. We're going to start with a quick soup. This is the end of summer. Tomatoes are perfect right now. So we just diced up a few tomatoes, sauté them real quick, and then puree them. That's our beautiful puree of soup. And you can see... We've also got the lamb skewers coming up and the peach shortcakes oh. with the pecan caramel sauce. That is going to be our dessert. But let's get right to the soup. Let's get right to the soup. Good. All right. So uh, just puree. People always want to squeeze their tomatoes and get yep. rid of all that luscious juice in yep. there. That's a problem. That's the best part of the tomato. So just sieve out your seeds and save that juice to rehydrate your soup. Gives so, it a much more, I guess, what, rich flavor? Tomato just flavor. More tomato flavor. You huh? can even take that, what we call tomato water, and mm -hmm. make a martini out of it. It's yeah. just spectacular this time of year. Okay, so my tomato soup just sauteed and uh, really lightly and then pureed. And then we're going to finish with a little basil oil. And basil oil is simply just uh, olive oil and basil uh, pureed and then set for maybe an hour. Yeah. And that's where you get that beautiful green from. May I? Okay. Can I give it a shot? Can I Absolutely. A but taste test here? I'm going to garnish it with a little toast grilled toast with fresh ricotta and, and country style bread. Mm -hmm. And I like to serve this soup chilled. It's very nice. It's yeah. also great with say a cucumber panna cotta or something yeah. like that. And just real quickly here, we just have a French bread with a little, little bit of a... Yeah, I like Italian rustic bread with yep. a little fresh ricotta. And you just dip it in and you're ready to go. Okay, for our main course, mm -hmm. we've got these beautiful lamb skewers. And if, I'll trade you spots okay. if you want to yeah. If you want to glaze those skewers for me here. I've got, in this pan I'm working uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, shallots, red wine, butter, and we're going to take that down with a little bit of honey and make a glaze for our lamb. What kind of red wine are we talking about? This is just... a Washington State Merlot. You know, Washington State is the second largest wine producer in the country right really? now. It's amazing. We have over 500 wineries, and I happen to have a farm in wine country, so. Doesn't it's... surprise me. You've got so many <laughs> other things going on. Why exactly. wouldn't you have a farm in wine country? So, um, uh, we've got our lamb, and it's, okay. all, it's marinated with red wine and, and lemon zest and garlic and olive oil. How long are, are, we, are we, we bringing the... the... You see this? Yep. Here's, here's where we started, right here where it's real juicy. Yep. That's where we're going, where okay. it's a nice little syrup. And after you skewer your lamb and then you put it uh, on your griddle, you simply glaze it off. You finish it with your red wine glaze. And important in this step is that you have the black pepper in there because with the sweetness of the honey, you want some opposites. Opposites yep. attract in cooking. We like the three T's, taste, texture, and temperature. So cold tomato soup, hot lamb skewers. I was gonna say turmoil. Turmoil, <laughs> no. Come in my kitchen for a while, there's always a fight. <laughs> You know, it's funny how people don't have time to cook, right? But uh, they have time to watch TV all day. You know, it's like you see all too many chefs in the kitchen. You know, too many cooks in the kitchen type thing. Exactly. Uh, next step. Yeah. So that's our marinated lamb. That's our grilled lamb. It's working. Satsiki right here. Yeah. That's uh, a Greek-style garnishing yogurt, basically. Now, a trick with both yogurt and cucumbers, if you let them, we salted the cucumbers so that the moisture comes out. Mm -hmm. And a trick with yogurt, if you let it sit overnight in a sieve, yes. your yogurt will get thick and creamy and delicious, and it's just the best way to have it. Just back to the meat for a second. How long are we going to have these on here? Maybe eight minutes. About eight minutes. You want it to be medium. Okay. And so that means you want to pull them off medium rare and let them sit for a few minutes. Okay, so you got your cucumbers here. We got a little garnish here now. Whoo! Roasted potatoes. This is in my book, uh, Tom's Big Dinners. And it's become a favorite at our restaurants. It's, it's our hash browns now, but they're garlic fried, twice fried potatoes. I was going to say, it uh, almost looks like a mushroom. It does because we roast the potatoes whole and then smash them and then almost deep fry them in garlic oil. And toasted garlic right on top. Beautiful. Those are gonna, those are gonna be delicious. Okay, and then one last thing. Yep. You got to finish up with dessert, right? Well, you know it's Labor dessert. Day. You got to do it dessert. It is the most important part of the meal. And I had to come in under budget, so I'm, I'm hoping that we came in under. You had eighty dollars. We usually only give our chefs forty. I know, but I'm cooking for eight today. I know, but you know, don't use that okay. as an excuse. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Fresh peaches. Yep. Again, perfect time of year. And then just right on there. Uh, a little whipped cream, I like a little in here. The peach obviously is your choice. You could use other fruits though, correct? Yeah, or, but it's, it's like peach time, you know? Peach we you gotta give peaches their due. Yeah. And what do we call this dessert? This is a, a cornmeal peach shortcake with pecan caramel cream. 
Okay, um, now cream. a big dollop of whipped cream. Big. That looks good. Love that. Right. Okay. Yep. Got to have that. And then let's do our caramel. So this is whole toasted pecans mm. in caramel sauce. Mm. And so you want to make sure you get a couple pecans right at the end here. And we're looking oh, this at is what, fat about, free, about right? 10 calories? You uh, <laughs> I, I would think so, somewhere in that right neighborhood. Right yeah. I'll take two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's get spoons Keep ready. You might as well just pour the whole thing <laughs> on there. I mean, why, why, are we just, why are we drizzling <laughs> at this point? Let's just pour it on there. That looks great. You want to set this in the center and you can, guys can take it. Yeah, seriously, guys, grab some forks, dig in a little while we check your prices. Okay. Let's see how you did. You were complaining about that $80 budget. Program. I know, We're going to see exactly. exactly how you did right now. For the first course, we've got tomatoes, shallots, and basil, garlic bread, and ricotta. For the main course, a leg of lamb, shallot, Washington Merlot, the honey, a little lemon, parsley, potatoes, cucumber, yogurt, and mint. And for the dessert, we've got cornmeal, butter, heavy cream. Oh, yeah, that's low fat. Peaches <laughs> and pecans. More butter. We bought additional butter. And then more some more butter. A grand total. You had $80. Came in at $78.88. All right. Great All job. All right. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you for having you me. appreciate it. Appreciate really good to see you. Go buy the books. And, of course, go to our website for these recipes, other recipes of past chefs on shoestrings. It's earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Dot com. It's all there. Would you people stop eating no, all I, the dessert so good. on this holiday weekend? My you goodness, the match. You'll have to excuse the, the behavior of my colleagues.